I have no idea what this is, but I'm not sure. This was when I thought about trying to take up juggling. I have no idea. Just an American flag. I think it touched the ground. Again, I have no idea what this does. And the flip stick. Anyone who doesn't know it, that's fine, because throw it. Here's how it works. Just like that. Of course, they didn't look as bad. I mean, the colors were a lot brighter. I don't know what happened to this thing, but oh well. Oh, and this one was when I was in college and doing video work. <laughs> And that's pretty much it, except for the McDonald's football, which I don't remember at all. Okay. We're down to the wire. Oh, before I do, I thought I'd show you why something else I found. My Rubik's Cube. As you can see, I've only solved one side. It's the best I could ever do. It actually reminds me of a time when there was a there was a uh, money tree competition at a college I used to go to, <laughs> and I was in something called the weakest think because they couldn't call it the weakest link, or else they would get sued. <laughs> it was like one of their competition names. They would have like four people and three events, one person eliminated each round. And then the big money tree at the end. Of course, I had to go to, the goal was to see how many of the same color I could get on one side and, or do it the fastest. <laughs> of course, I could only get eight somehow. I don't know why, but at the end, I decided not to t risk it and go for the full, full nine. I won, and got to go to the money tree. Got 75 bucks. And just thought I'd show it to you. And, and now, let's show the last bit of these. This was made my senior year, and... My, alert, my English teacher made a joke that the government's controlling our mind and that this aluminum hat would protect us. Yeah, we actually did make these during English class. Yeah, <laughs> I know why. This, I don't know where it came from, but I remember it from long ago. It's called a foxtail. Take it from the end, and you just roll it around, see how far you can throw it. Oh, anyone remember Simon Says? Or Simon, at least. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this for now. <laughs> It's so much fun. Well, I haven't played it recently, but still. Oh, yeah. Um, let me show you something else first. Anyone remember Bop It? What? Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but this is Bop It Extreme 2. Like there was also a version called Bop It Extreme. This is an updated version. All right. Beat Bop, one on one. Beat Bop, solo. Fox Bop. Yeah. Fox Bop. And let's put this there. Oh, great.
Yeah, you can say that again. This is for me, sir. Oh, anyone remember this game? Ball Zerko. It's easy. You get the marble round. You have to get in one of these. Where, whenever it's flashing red. It's kind of hard to explain. Brain Warp. Ooh, this is another... I was really into electronic games back then. You know, ones like these. And they had a variety, and you just had to... You had to have it in the up position at the time. And I don't know if it still works, but we'll see. Oh, and another one of the Bop It spin-offs. Top It. And then there was Flop It and Flip It. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I got. It's time to put this aside.